Hi, I'm Brenda Walton. In my family, we all enjoy sending and receiving handmade cards and gifts. My dies for Sizzix make it easy for the crafters in your family to create something really extraordinary and to celebrate every day of the year. This is the packaging for the Country Cottage die, and it is one of the most versatile dies that I have in my line. It measures about four inches tall from the base up to the chimney, and there are so many different looks that you can get with this one die. This is showing some Christmas cottages, but of course you can make them for any time of year. This is what the die itself looks like, and I've cut the elements out of different types of papers so you can see what you're getting. The base, the roof, the shingles, there are two different types of shingles that you can alternate, the portico that goes above the front door, the shutters, you'll need 10 shutters for this project, and the front door, the chimney, and then the trim that goes above the chimney. And now to assemble the cottage, flip it over to the reverse side and I like to put a little bit of wax paper and tape that into the back side of each window. So just this is wax paper from your kitchen and just cut little strips of wax paper that are slightly larger than each window. And you'll need five of those total and it diffuses the light. If you put a little battery-powered tea light inside your house when it's assembled, this wax paper will diffuse the light in a really pretty way. And I've just made tiny little thin strips of adhesive tape and I'm putting those each at the top and bottom of the windows. Now I'm putting on the front door, just using a little bit of quick-dry glue, putting that in position. And next, I'm going to lay down just thin strips of the quick dry glue alongside of each window on the right and left side. And this is where the shutters will position. And you can put your 10 shutters in position either with your fingers, or if you prefer, you could use tweezers to put them in place, whatever is easier for you. And now for the portico. The portico, of course, is the little covering that goes up above the front door. There's a little slot for it to go into position, and then little tabs that go onto the, the reverse side of the cottage. And I'm just putting a little dab of quick dry glue on those, just pressing that down on the inside. And now for the exciting part, which is when you make your cottage three-dimensional. Simply fold the tab over and then fold along all of the crease lines, the four walls, and then the roof. Just get those all folded in. And once you have done that, then you're going to get your quick dry glue and put it together. So I'm just testing it to make sure everything's in place and I'm applying a pretty small amount of the quick dry glue to the tab and pressing that down. This is the roof and I'm going to apply the shingles to it now. There are 10 shingles total. There's one type that has a completed scallop on each end and one another type that has a half scallop on each end and I'm starting with the full scallop style at the very bottom just like you'd lay down real shingles on a roof almost starting at the bottom and then working up to the fold and then starting over on the reverse side of the roof say the back side of the roof and now I'm putting the last shingle in place and the roof looks 
Wonderful. Just fold that in half and get ready to just adhere that to the roof to the roof of the cottage. So I like to apply just a thin amount of quick dry glue both to the front tabs and to the back of the roof. And then I like to lay the house down right onto the inside of that the shingles, the shingled roof and make sure that it's centered and I look carefully on the left and right side of the roof and just make sure the house is in position correctly. And now I'm going to assemble the chimney and it's really great because it's got crease lines in it that will show me exactly where to fold and I'm folding it into kind of like a little square tall box and then I'm going to just apply a little bit of quick dry glue and that'll keep it together and once I get that all assembled now I'm just pressing it down with a bone folder and applying the trim to the top and that's one of the little detail pieces that looks very sweet. I uh, like to apply a little bit more of the quick dry glue to that. And I attach that to the roof using hot glue because it really needs a, a very strong adhesive to keep it in place. This is the base piece and to assemble that one I am just folding along all those score lines folding in the tabs. This is a very thick stock that I'm using by the way. I, I like the look of the thicker stock for the base. Fold in all the tabs and then I'm going to apply some hot glue to those also because uh, it really needs a stronger adhesive for this piece. Now fold up the little tab that's at the back of the base so that it's sitting vertically and I like to position the house on the tab so that it's centered on the base and I'm just kind of taking a look right now and then I'm going to apply hot glue to the tab because I really need a secure adhesive for the tab to connect to the house. And to make sure that those two pieces are making good contact I like to smooth those out using a bone folder and that is looking great. 